Hey there, everyone. Well, it is Sunday, and that means it is time to look at my weekly goals, kind of have an honest reflection of what's going on both in my life, in our business. How is this uh, stay at home order kind of impacting all things one rental at a time, Michael Zuber? It's, it's having an impact. And as you'll see in this weekly summary, it's not all positive. I am like you, uh, this stay at home order that has been in place in Santa Clara County now for seemingly forever is, um, it's getting to me and, uh, I'm adjusting kind of what is going on. Um, you know, having fun in some aspects, but I need to kind of break out in others. So again, having weekly goals, looking at them, sharing with them, they're important, um, I share the good and bad with you because I feel like it's, you know, we're holding each other accountable. So uh, instead of talking about it, let's just bring it up and we'll go into the details because it's not all rosy. All right. So here we go. Same spreadsheet we see every week. If you want to go back and look at each subsequent week, this is now week seven in our second 13 week journey together. So we've done actually 20 of these videos here since December 1st. And we will just um, scroll up, oh, scroll down. So the first one has always been my health goal. Uh, you know, I truly believe that you need to take care of yourself. It really doesn't how much matter how much money you have. If your your vessel, your, your thing is not, not there, it, uh, it can all go away quickly. And you know, I don't know how else to cut it, but my weekly goals have taken a big hit the last couple of weeks. Uh, they have been really on a downtrend since week three. Um, and, you know, that's four weeks now, and I've got to figure something out. Uh, I can say that last week, while I did very little running, I did work out six days. Uh, I would say that my intensity was kind of a C plus. Uh, I did a bunch of barbell movements. Uh, I just find running a loop around my house to be extremely boring and uh, having to run in a mask is not particularly fun. So I need to figure something out. I probably need to change this goal just in light of the circumstances we're in. But as you can see, that's only one step. I'm not being as diligent with my, um, uh, fasting, my intermittent fasting. This was a big hit. Uh, the first 13 week period, it has become less of a thing. And for me, it's the nighttime snacking. It's just like, God damn it. I'm still awake. I got, you know, might as well chew on some pretzels or something. So definitely need to be more diligent. And unfortunately I've lost every pound that I gained those first three weeks. You know, I lost five pounds. They are all back on just four short weeks later. So I need to own this. I need to figure something else out. I, uh, I certainly don't want to go all 13 weeks gaining weight. Uh, I think at this point, losing 13 pounds is not going to happen. Um, but you know, I need, I need to do something. So let me know what you think. Post your workouts. Tell me what you're doing to stay healthy. We've all got to stay healthy, folks. If you're staying at home, you got to keep moving. You got to do something. So um, if you're not, you're gaining weight. Uh, so be, be careful. On the YouTube front or social media front, I had a huge week, record setting, never had anything like it. Um, it probably will be a while before I have something like it again. Uh, but we did a video with... Uh, a Cardone Capital Investor uh, that, well, at least for my channel, took off. Uh, we had over 30,000 views of that one video this week. Uh, and as you can see, that one video, 30,000 views, would have been more than I had really almost any three-week period. So uh, while these numbers are impressive, uh, they're kind of one video based. Uh, Again, they're they're nice, uh, but you know I need I, I need to figure out how to uh, you know expand the reach, make it more than single video dependent. So, but again, uh, that interview with Cardone Capital Investor uh, has gotten a lot of hits. 
podcasts, uh, again, they were down last week, but uh, they were up, uh, you know, they exceeded the, uh, the goal of 5,000. Uh, so again, we have been above that goal every week except the first week. So I'm very, very happy with that. Going to YouTube subscribers, we had a monster week. Uh, again, a lot of that uh, because of the Cardone Capital interview. Uh, I think I looked yesterday and I think that one video was responsible for about 212 subscribers. So a little less than half. Um, and again, that's, you know, a subscriber based off of that video. So interesting. Uh, Instagram, uh, you know, we had an okay week, uh, but again, way below our goals. I'm not adding Instagram followers. We had 31 new followers this week. Uh, well, well below our 60 and something I need to figure out. As far as the business goals, it's kind of exactly what we've been doing last week. Uh, I've been very clear that I expect to get lots of offers or lots of deals out of the multiple listing service. Uh, last week we wrote 11, this week we wrote seven. Uh, we got one or two counters, nothing of meaning because again, as I'm telling you, sellers are thinking about yesterday and I'm writing offers for tomorrow. So we're kind of stuck in this middle ground. Uh, I do expect that to loosen up. Uh, the hub is still shut down. Uh, stay at home order is in effect for Fresno. I canceled their rent payment for April and probably will do it for May as well. Uh, but not a lot of going on there. Uh, we are starting to crank up the marketing, uh, at least casually. Uh, one of my wholesalers uh, out there has started to do door hangers. He sent me a note the other day that he sent, uh, he hung five, uh, 500, he said. Uh, and then another one has started texting. So we're starting to ramp that back up. We're kind of past the peak of understanding and, and we're starting to build our funnel back up. It probably will have week delay, several week delay. Uh, but we are starting to market again uh, in a tailored fashion. As far as flips go, haven't bought anything in a while. Um, haven't got anything into escrow. I do have two sales in escrow uh, that opened up this week that hopefully will, they should close before the end. So we will certainly hit our goal of selling seven, uh, but we need to buy some more. This has been a very, very dry quarter. And again, it's all because pricing changed. There's yesterday's pricing and today's pricing. I could buy lots of stuff at yesterday's pricing. Uh, I am just too cheap to do it and will happily wait going forward. Uh, no real unique experiences. Uh, I got to figure this out. Maybe we need to have a game night or something. Uh, maybe we need to have a candlelight dinner. I don't know. I need to, I need to figure something else out. We've been, it's kind of rinsing. It's kind of like Groundhog Day every day. So I need to figure something else out there. And then rounding out the one rental at a time umbrella. Uh, again, another week of two hours of content. Uh, I, I frankly think there are days that I do 45 minutes and probably most days. Uh, we sold 38 books. Uh, really noticed an uptick in Amazon just in the last three days. Um, I don't know what's going on with their shipping and printing and all of that. Uh, there was certainly a huge fall off uh, for a couple of weeks as we dealt with the health event. Uh, Amazon reviews had a nice uptick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we've now sold thousands of copies. So if you have read the One Rental at a Time book and yet uh, to leave your five-star review, please do me a favor. Uh, I do so much for free. It would really help if you left a five-star review. Uh, if that re review is on Amazon or Audible, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I need some Audible reviews. We're up to 33. We're only doing one a week. Uh, I really need some help. Uh, I know a lot of you are buying the Audible book, so please do me a favor. Even if you've read the, uh, if you've bought both the paperback and Audible, you've left the Amazon review, can I ask for a favor? Please, please, please leave the Audible review as well. I know it's a headache, uh, but it would really mean a lot to me to see these uh, Audible reviews go up. Uh, as for Audible book sales, we sold 40 this week. Uh, again, a lot of people are, are buying that, and I'm glad we kind of, uh, we got that out just before the health event came. Uh, the course, this is something I'm pretty proud of. The course, both the free and the paid versions are taking off. Um, I, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. This, this next 90-day period is going to be the best time in the last 20 years to learn a market. You're going to see a market change in a very short window. And 
you know, you might as well take advantage of it. You, you need to learn what's going on. You need, need to learn what's selling, what's not selling. Um, hint, a lot of what I've been telling you the last two years is coming true above the median, not a safe place. Uh, be conservatively financed, no alligators. All the stuff I talk about in the book. What really makes me smile is the paid course is, is really taking off and making impact. I'm hearing every day uh, from my students because we, I've invested in a private Facebook group. We do Saturday live streams. It is making a difference. Uh, to hear people talk about how they're seeing their market change already is so meaningful. Uh, because when you focus, you execute, you build confidence. I really look at my paid course as building confidence for folks. And if you could build confidence into this environment, you're going to really increase your chances of winning. And that is such a great feeling to have. Then rounding this out, custom t-shirts, not selling, not marketing. I probably need to shut that down. I'm spending like 40 bucks a month on ho ho hosting a Shopify account. I do like them, right? Passive income generator, the pig. Um, you know, cash rich, asset poor. That's always fun. Uh, and then lastly, the donation. We've definitely, definitely got to step up and do a donation. The food banks are in trouble. Um, it's, it's tough out there, folks. So we're going we're gonna to have to do something uh, and we will. So in the end, a couple of things. Do yourself a favor. Take care of your health. Go for a walk. Um, you know, do something, do some air squats or sit-ups or something. We can't come out of this health event in months with our bodies being in bad shape. And I say this to you knowing that I'm not doing that, uh, but I'm going to figure something else out. And if it's not running, I will do something. Uh, but hold me accountable. Um, let's, let's make sure I, I lose some weight the next six weeks or so. Make sure you watch your diet. Again, the diet uh, has an impact. And if we're not working out, not burning calories, but we're consuming more, bad stuff happens. So be careful. And then lastly, if you really want to make a difference and you want to build some confidence, you need to check out that paid course. Uh, it's the best thing I've created. Price points ridiculously low. I'm not going to raise it. Uh, but again, if you, if you do secure it, make sure you join um, my private Facebook group. And also my, uh, if you're in the Facebook group, you will see when I go live every Saturday morning uh, for 30 or 60 minutes to answer your questions. Uh, I like being just with my students because we use the same vocabulary. And I learn from them. I learn what's going on around the country. So it's a lot of fun for both of us. All right. Make sure you get out there. Why don't, make sure, why don't you want to walk a couple of miles today? Put on some music, listen to a podcast. And of course, if you can leave a five-star review. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.